right, so She's part so two. I know, right? So part two of Mike Coulomb's house. We Coulomb. Taste, we gotta say it right one of these days. Coulomb. Thank Mike, you. Mike C. <laughs> so we started with six. Now we're moving on to ten. So we've got Heaven's Door, the Glen Marang, Texas Bourbon, another Virginia distillery, and BSB. So Mike, what do you want to start with? Take your pick. You want to well, start with the Heaven's Doors? Or let's let's with start with the Heaven Doors. We'll, we'll save the un, unopened ones for the last. Sounds good. All right, so what do we got on this one? Well, I got I to gotta get the glasses. Straight rye whiskey. All right. Okay, you got the eyesight. <laughs> I can't, even with the glasses, that's way too small. All right, so it's just a quote saying, we wanted to create a collection of American whiskeys oh. that in their own way tell the story. Thank you. So, Evan so Star, straight 92 rye. proof straight rye whiskey finished in Bosque Oak Barrels. Bos? Bosque. B-O-S-G-E. Okay, I thought it was part of that, you know. <laughs> Boss water. Boss water. <laughs> Boss water. Boss water. Boss wa Boss Shout water. out to grown ups. <laughs> I mean, they did film it like one town over, so. Yeah. yeah. Trying to get me drunk. You know it. Yeah, so I can go to sleep and not bother the camera. <laughs> <laughs> light, light smell. Yep. A little bit floral, almost. You have a better sense of smell than I do. It's not Pete, is it? <clears throat> not Pete. <laughs> My dad's not around. No, I'm talking about somebody else. I know. <laughs> a little sweet, then a lot of burn. It's like a dark caramel. Mm -hmm. Not not so much roasted, but it's it is no. sweet. Burn on the on the tip of my tongue. It's a good warmth for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like it smells mellow. I wish it was and colder you outside because we could do this outside. We'd never feel the the cold at all with this, man. For, for real. This is good, like by the fire, or winter outside. You know, rye to have. I don't taste a lot of the rye to it though. No. But it is smooth. Well, you'd they'd throw you out at Julio's if you uh, poured like this up there for tasting. Fun. This is like what we got the first year. <laughs> Why am I saying? Well, you tell me no, I'm not one who's supposed to be talking on the video. <laughs> you're supposed to, you should have a, like a background laughter of you. <laughs> <laughs> we could. We could. <laughs> hmm. Need a lighter, poor dude. Sorry, you need eye droplets. Alright, so next one is going to be another Heaven's Door. This is the Double Barrel Whiskey. No description or anything to this. This one, however, is 100 proof. So a little higher than what you're normally having. <laughs> Wait, mm -hmm. I just need a taste. I need to make it up to my room. And it's only one step up, so that's good. Wow, yeah, I still, I can, the first one, I can still feel the warmth. Why are you moving that? Nope. They can't even see it. I meant for you. <coughs> Caramel. Mm-hmm. Vanilla. Mm. You gonna make it? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is making commentary. <laughs> I get commentary for the audience. Quiet on set, please. <laughs> All right. What do you What do you taste on that one? Much smoother. Still get caramel, caramel, however you wish to pronounce it. Less burn, but definitely much smoother. More of the oak for sure. The double barrel on yep. there is going to make that happen. A uh, little bit of the char. No, I, I like it better than the rye, that's for sure. See, I like the rye better. But to each their own. It's, it depends on your well, personal taste yeah. preference. If everybody likes the same why, thing, then only do one. Yeah, exactly. One. Only one recipe. He 
60. All right, so a third and final heaven's door we have is a Tennessee bourbon. This one is 90 proof, so a little lighter. Show it to the camera. Listen to the director. Heaven's door. Tennessee bourbon. You see the splash? You want the splash there? Please, very much. Thank you very much. That's good. Trying to get me drunk. <laughs> Bloody American. It's working. I was going to say, you should try it. Work, yeah. I'm still doing better than Jimmy did after the 101 yesterday, the other day. Not far off, but getting there. Hmm. Not sweet. much. No, not much? I have some sweetness out of it. I'm <laughs> getting the alcohol more. My, I guess my nose isn't as in tune. Try not to stick the nose all the way in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah! You're not snoring the whiskey. <laughs> Joe will put it. Could you taste the roofie? <laughs> All right, yeah. It's like I've had this before. <laughs> Crest, <though>. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a good one. A lot more of the caramel than I had on the double barrel. A little, a little bit more buttery. buttery. Yeah, on the front end. Yeah. 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 Buttery. A bit more of the, like a spice. A little bit of that burn on the back end. Very little. Yeah. It's, uh, it's no, I'm feeling like it a little more yeah. now. Yeah. But that fin first thing finishes like, stronger than it starts, for yeah. sure. Starts off real buttery, and then you get a little. But yeah. not very... Don't, don't get, yeah, the I know, peanut right? gallery is going wild. speaking right now. <laughs> Directed, do we have to throw them off the set? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, man. Adding to the experience, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move on to do the Glen Murray. We got a set of four of these ones. It's a 12 year port cask finish. Oh, wait a minute. Do you want to try the Virginia first? Because we didn't, to finish off, we started, we did the Virginia we before. Can. Yeah, well, you want to jump to the Virginia? Yeah. All right. So this is a different Virginia distillery company. This one is the port cask finish. And it's, I'll show you right there. It's a lot more powerful than the last one. This one is a 92 proof. But the flavor, a lot of burn. 100% malted barley, finished in pork cast, and married together to create this unique batch. All right, let's try it out. Really light. Quarter of that, that's good. mess of our fine table. I doubt we have a second top downstairs that I haven't changed in what, eight years, ten years, twelve years. That's very good. Taste that, that uh, smell that pork. Deep very cherry. Good. I think it's your table, it's mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but well, um, where's that spot? I don't know, but acetone will take it off. <laughs> So it's not acetone, Jess, because it didn't come off, Mom. <laughs> A lot. Well, that's nice and smooth, that one. Big difference from the other night. I mean, wow, the other night was all harsh and bit of a sherry flavor to that. <laughs> Mike's feeling nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> I might have to excuse myself on my way. <laughs> this is why she gets mad. We're on camera. <laughs> People just take it wrong. I like it. Good 
flavor to that. That was better than one. Very it's deep like and rich, but like you can feel that burn, the high proof flavor doesn't exactly mask that one. But up front, it's pretty good. I have been, don't worry. <laughs> it crack it, cheese and crackers doesn't help. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take a break right here. We're gonna come back, we're gonna try the Glen Meringue. We've got a Texas bourbon in the BSB High Octane 103. 